hizi hazi connect na wifi ya yangu hazi connect Yes, karibuni sana. Karibu ni sana. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm telling you tomorrow it will be powerful. We are now go to go for today. Mm. By the grace of God. Welcome very much. Karibuni sana 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 sana. And we thank God because you came. Acha nitengenezewe hii. Mystery of the spiritual father. As a Christian, as a church person, uh, do you need a, a spiritual father? You can give me the other one. Do you need a, a, a spiritual father? You need a spiritual authority. Is it a must that you have a spiritual father? Is it a must that you have a, a spiritual father? Is it a must that you have a, a spiritual authority? Or what is the work of the spiritual father in, in your life? And uh, is it a must? By the way, is it a must to have a, a spiritual father? Uh, I'm trying to, 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 to see when you are being here. Uh, go to a care Facebook. Ji kwa nini hii inafira? Uh, Nigetaka ku dionyeweza kulikoganize wenye wata wa maingia. Uh, niambia kama hiko kriya, kama unanisikia vizuri. If you can hear me. If you can hear clearly, you can hear us clearly. Na ita tu saidia sana 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 sana. So uh, I want to teach about the mystery uh, of the spiritual father. That is one of the mysteries that has been there. Na kumekuwa na watu wengi sana. The wanajiita fathers, kuna wengine wanaitwa fathers. Na unafaa kuwa na mababa wangapi wa kiroho. Uh, ni vizuri kulingana na Biblia tusome kama ni vizuri kuwa na baba. 
na baba wa kiroho ni nani mambo kama hayo nataka tuyaguze na tuyaguze katika njia ambayo iliyo mzuri tunaweza iguza leo na kesho ndio tuone mambo ambayo yanafaa kuwa kwa sababu uh, ni vizuri uh, tujue kwa na unafaa kuita baba yako ya kiroho you are pastor unafaa kumuita dad are you supposed to call him dad or what are you supposed to call him all those things are the things that i want us to discuss right now nitie watu wawili watatu na tumewakaribisha sana 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 so whatever you are watching us from uh, karibuni sana na Mungu awabariki by the grace of god you can switch off the 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 hotspot then you in, in the main phone alafu yakisha tena so that we can be able to access each and every person the mystery that mystery is very very important we understand the mystery of the spiritual fathers the hospital is on switch it off switch it on it is good na nataka pia kusoma ile mambo ambayo mmeniandikia hapa ni ya maana sana 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 nakuwa nikikuja saa ine na nusu every day from monday to uh, to friday tunakuja saa ine na nusu at least sasa ime, imefanya kazi na shukuru uh, nione watu ambao wamefika mahali hapa wow mulifika kitambo hivi karibuni sana gloria karibu sana frida karibu sana pazazak karibu sana eric karibu sana uh, who else iko kidia kabisa aha uh -huh. karibuni sana aha uh -huh, uh -huh. glory to god glory to god amen mystery of us of the spiritual father and uh, there is there has been a lot of conspiracy kila mtu mnakutana na yeye kwa sababu ni pastor unamuita dadi one of the errors that we have today is we have fake fakeness of the spirit fakeness of the spirit the fakeness of the spirit uh, kuna kuna tambia tulikuwa nayo wacha nirudi pale nyuma kidogo uh, sisi ambao tunaajiri wasichana kwa nyumba wakiwa wasichana wa kazi kila msichana anakuja unabianga watoto wako huyo ni anti kila msichana akikuja unamwambia huyo ni anti unakaa na msichana miezi mbili mwezi wa tatu anaenda uh, unamwambia ni anti mwingine anakuja unamwambia ni anti but to be sincere our si anti it is fake ni yaku ni, ni, ni jina tu unatunatafutia una, 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 hao hao wasichana bao ni house managers tunawatafutia jina anti lakini actually it is wisdom ndio watoto wako wasichanganyikiwe kama ni msichana wa kazi anaitwa Gladys muite Gladys kama anaitwa uh, uh, Irene mwambie huyo ni Irene lakini si anti yake tu bi sisi huyo si anti yake wewe ni wewe anti ametoka Uganda kwani kwani kuna mam, kuna mamako mmoja aliolewa Uganda, Uganda. Auntie wengine wanajisikia sasa katoto kanakuwa innocent sana kana zatakiwa advantage na auntie So the same way kuna fakeness ya auntie ambao wanafanya katika nyumba za watu the same way kuna fakeness of spiritual fathers Kila mahali mtu anaenda unaenda kwa kanisa fulani unasema this is my spiritual father na hata hamjakaa na yeye na hata umekaa miezi miwili miezi mitatu unamuita spiritual father how Umekuja kwa kanisa umekaa miezi mbili na kuita my son. Ni sani gani hebu niambie nyinyi wa mama ambao mnapata watoto? Ni sani gani anazaliwa hata kama ni mimi unapata? Unaweza pata miba aje leo na after 3 months amekuwa mtoto mkubwa. <coughs> Sorry for that. Anakuwa mtoto mkubwa. Fatherhood is a very sensitive topic. And I want you to understand there are three kinds of fathers that we are supposed to have in in our lives. There are three kinds of fathers that we are supposed to have in our lives. And number one father that we are supposed to have 
is God. God is our Father. God is our Father. God is a judge. God is our protector. He is a Father. That is one Father that we should have and we should honor. God at large is a Father. And He is a Father not to every person. I want you to understand this. God is not Father to every person in this world. God is not the Father of Muslims. God is not father of Hindus. God is not father of those people who are not saved. The Bible says, as many as have received him, he gave them power to become sons of God. So, uh, as long as you have received him and you are led of the Holy Spirit, you are a genuine son and you have authority to use the name Father. Nataka kutumia hapa vizuri mtu ambaye hajaokoka hajapewa ruhusa ya kuita Mungu baba Niseme tena mtu ambaye hajaokoka hana ruhusa ya kuita Mungu baba kwa sababu siyo baba yake Anaitwa baba na wale ambao wanamjua A father is a household name Father is an authority, is a head, is a name of the head of a family, is a headship name, is an authority name, is a priestly name, is a covenant name. Fatherhood, in general, <coughs> is a dimension in which sons relate with their fathers. Is a dimension that sons relate with a the the the, the, the ni, ni wana wana relate na baba yao lakini sio mungu wa mungu kulirate na wanadamu ana relate in different dimensions <coughs> one of the dimension mungu ana relate na watu tunaona in the old covenant mungu hajaitwa baba jina baba lilikuja na yesu kristo wakati wanafunzi wali, walianza kuwa waliomba waliambia yesu awafunze kuomba because already he is welcoming them to the family of God. Number two, what to Okoka. How to Okoka. How to Okoka. How to Okoka. baba to Okoka. How to Okoka. How to Okoka. How to Okoka. How to Okoka. Yesu aka, aka jamaa mmoja akakuja kwa Yesu siku in the book of uh, uh, John chapter 3 uh, anaitwa anaitwa Nicodemus Nicodemus akakuja kwa Yesu na wakati alikuja kwa Yesu bibili nasema kwamba uh, aka akamuuliza ningefanya nini, nini ndio nipate uzima wa wa milele akaambiwa lazima uzaliwe tena you must be born in the kingdom you must be born you must be born in the kingdom you must be born again. You must be born. How will you be born with the blood and spirit? Lazima uzaliwe, lazima uzaliwe tena. Na maji na roho. Lazima uzaliwe tena. And as long as you are born of God, you are a son of God. So, sisi ambao tumeokoka, hatuna haja sana ya kushida tukiita Mungu, a Jehovah Nisi, Jehovah Rafa, hizo tuachie watu wa dunia, watu ambao hawajaokoka ndio wanamjua kama hivyo. Lakini sisi our relationship is the, the closer relationship that we have is the Father. We know his Jehovah Nisi, we know his Jehovah Jireh, Jehovah Jehu, Zidneku Mkadeshi, all those names, but the relationship name that we have been given is the name Father, that is God. It was introduced to us by the firstborn, who is Jesus Christ. That is the name Father. Number two, number two, the second Father that we have is what we call the biological Father. The biological Father. The biological Father. Biological Father. Ni ule muze ambaye aliogea na madhe kukafanyika venye kulifanyika ukazaliwa is a biological father ni mwenye alikuzaa na biological father 
ah uh, ni ule ame mwenye ali mwenye walilana na mama yako wenye wali walilana pamoja wakakuzaa huyo ni baba na in terms of the other father tumeoga kuzu father heaven the father then we have the other father father mwenye alikuzaa namba 2 kind of the father ni baba ambaye alikulea unaweza kuwa mwenye alikuzaa alikanyagwa na roli mamako akaolewa na mwingine sasa huyo ndiye baba yako ambaye umejua kutoka utotoni ama mamako walikosana kwa sababu zao ukaenda ukalelewa na mtu mwingine aka aka ku, aka ku in, you, you are you are adopted in that family huyo ndiye tunaita baba pia unaelewa huyo ndiye baba au ndiye mababa wawili ambao tunaitaga other fathers we have the heavenly father that is god uh, god the father is the father holy spirit is a father and jesus is a father i will explain that as we continue according to the word of god hallelujah uh, we have the other father who is the father who begot you mwenye walizaa na mama yako ambaye uko na pua kama yake uko na masikio kama yake uko na nywele ambao ni karagai kama yake huyo die baba unaweza kuwa maybe babako alikufa akiwa mdogo ukalelewa na mtu fulani kama kama baba baba wa kabo ukalelewa na mamako akaenda pengine babako mwenye alikuzaa hakukulea ukalelewa na mtu mwingine akakanyagwa na roli ukalelewa na huyo ama baba wa mtu mwingine katika hiyo familia awe guka yako awe anko yako awe rafiki wa familia lakini yeye ndiye alikulea huyo ni baba huyo ni baba are you getting me then we have another kind of father that we call spiritual father or spiritual authority spiritual father or spiritual authority spiritual father or spiritual authority who is a spiritual father a spiritual father is the man or is the person who feeds you spiritually with the word with the counsel with the direction among other things spiritual father is the father is the man or a woman who guides you in the things of the spirit who guides you in life and in the things pertaining your destiny hallelujah so fatherhood has a higher dimension iko na mambo mingi sana the bible says tuwekewe pale in the book of uh, uh, isaiah chapter 32 verses 2 and 3 the bible says a man shall be a hiding place a mwanadamu atakuwa a hiding place a man shall be a hiding place I want you to understand not everybody that you see on the road sio kila mtu ambaye mnakutana unamuita dadi unamuita baba sio kila mtu ambaye sio kila pasta ambaye mnakutana na yeye mahali unamuita baba lakini ni muhimu na ni ya maana kuwa na baba wa kiroho it is rebellion not to accept god the father as your father it is rebellion not to accept salvation it is rebellion not to accept the salvation that gives us access to call god the father the same way it is rebellion it is arrogance it is pride not to call your biological father father hata kama baba yako hana meno ni baba yako ni alikuzaa ni yeye walipaga na mama yako hata kama baba yako ah, hana macho ni baba hata kama baba yako ni mwenda wazimu ni baba huyo ndiye alikuzaa lazima tukubali huyo ndiye baba it is pride not to recognize the man that brought you in this world and number three, number three is the spiritual father spiritual father is that man is that person 
who begot you in the spirit. Paulo anasema ya kwamba I begot you Timothy. Nilikuzaa wewe Timotheo in the spirit. There is what we call the bathing in, in the spirit. The Bible says uh are we there? Uh, the Bible says that uh tuwekewe na mtu mmoja tu pale. Tuwekewe tu pale na mtu mmoja pale. Uh we are not supposed to have many fathers. Kuna mtu ananiuliza hapa. Hatufai kuwa na mababa wengi. Jezebel had so many fathers. Ukiona mtu akona fathers more than one. Akona mababa kumi. We have to differentiate between fathers and mentors. Jezebel has 400 fathers. Kuna ukiona mtu akona more than one father. Akona roho ya Jezebel. You're supposed to have one father. Atu ni baba yako, huyu ni baba yako. Ulizaliwa na nani mtu wa Mungu? You are fake. You don't know yourself. There are people who took part in our lives. There are people who took part in our lives. Na wale watu walibuka kwa verses 2. There are people who took part in our lives and them that took part in our lives. Ah uh, kwa maybe ya kutulea, kuna ile heshima tunapea ya baba but actually there is that person that we call a father ebu tusome sikia hapa the bible says this a man will be as a hiding place from the weed and a cover from the tempest as a river of water in the dry place a man shall be like a tree a man sh sh shall be a, a hiding place Mwanadamu Mungu ameweka wanadamu wakuwe kama mahali pa kujificha. Biblia inasema katika kitabu cha uh, Corinthians, is it first Corinthians chapter 10, uh, verses uh, verses 2 and 3. And the children of Israel were baptized unto Moses. Wana wa Israeli walipeanwa kwa Musa. Mungu aliwachukua akawapea Musa. Hallelujah. And uh, they were baptized unto Moses kwa sababu gani? Musa ndiye alikuwa uh, ndiye alikuwa kama baba yao. Musa uh, uh, that is all all about ebu tusome kutoka mstari wa kwanza pale. From the first verse all are baptized unto Moses in the crowd and in the sea. Your father will baptize you. Your father baptizes you. Baptizes you into what? Into the word, into the doctrine into the spirit he ushers you in in the things of the lord in the things of god your establishment is hidden in your spiritual father there are levels of sky there are levels of fathers there is what we call mtu ambaye alikuombea alikuombea ukaokoka na mkaachana that's not a spiritual father wanaitagwa midwife wanaitagwa spiritual midwife kuna spiritual uncles kama raban kuna kuna mahali unaweza enda kwa kanisa fulani na uncles hawanaga huruma <laughs> uncles hawanaga huruma kila wakati ukitaka kujua uko kwa kanisa uko kwa uncom uncle kila wakati kuna hii mnatoa kuna hii kuna ene ene time ukiona simu yake ni pesa sijui inua madhabahu sijui fanya hii sijui fanya hii that is an anko akikuona anaonanga pesa that is a spiritual anko they are spiritual nurses kama mefiko said hakuzaliwa akiwa kiwete alikuwa the custodian of a nurse nurse akasikia rumors unaweza kuwa katika mikono ya nurse hata saa hii maybe unafikiri uko kwa church na huyu uko kwa nurse unafikiri huyu ni father na ni nurse Kazi ya nasi ni kuhiru woods. Ni kuponya tu vidoda. Maybe ulito, ulienda kwa chachi fulani uka, ukawa ude. Ukaenda kwa kanisa ingine, uh, ukawa ude, uka, ukaenda kuponea huko. Huyo ni spiritual nurse. And then we have what we call now the 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 spiritual father. Spiritual ancos and and come tag ya ginya ya seirua. Spiritual anco ni kama raban. Ni anco lakini ananyanyasa kila wakati anakunyanyasa anakunyanyasa those are spiritual anchors but a genuine spiritual father he does not first call you a son 
He raises you to become a, a son. He raises you to maturity. He raises you to maturity. He establishes you. He prospers you. He gives you directions. He rebukes you. And a rebuke. A father rebukes. A father corrects. Baba anakurea. Anakupea maziwa. Anajua ile chakula unahitaji wakati furani. Your father feeds you. By the way, it's not a must your father feeds you with only the word of God. Sometimes we feed them with the money. Baba yako wa kiroho anafaa kukupea mpaka pesa. Allah. Anaweza kupea mpaka pesa. Si si lazima wewe upe, upe baba yako wa kiroho. I don't know hii hii ilibadilikia wapi? Na ni Musa alikuwa anapea wana Israeli, si wana Israeli walikuwa anapea Musa. Hello? So the work of the spiritual father is to build the sons to maturity. And the fathers remain at the house building the sons because the sons after they mature they go at the gate to contend the enemy there. It is the work of the father to produce the giant in you. It is the work of the father to discuss to help you to discover what is in you. Ni, ni mchungaji wako anakusaidia kujua wewe umeitwa umeitwa wapi anakupea revelation anakupo, anakuonyesha Mungu anakuonyesha jia za Mungu anakuonyesha anakuonyesha mambo ambayo ina, inahusiana na uungu that is the work of the spiritual father let me tell you this it is the lord of the spiritual father to make you prosper Mungu hana shida na wewe kutajirika it is the work of the spiritual father put for us in the book of uh, uh, second chronicles 20 verses 20 Second Chronicles 20 verse 20 tunaweza hata postiwa hapo na mtu Babako anaweza kuwa prophet anaweza kuwa pastor anaweza kuwa any person and li listen to this It is good to go to a father who has an altar Sisi father wa online sisi hii sisi hawa father wa online hawa haileti mzuri Unless we relate heart to heart. Unless we relate heart to heart. E, ni mtu ambaye anakulibikwa na kuambia leo ulifanya hivi na nimekasirika na wewe. Anakusomea, anakutengeneza na hajali kama utapotea kwa hii ama hautapotea. Kwa sababu uh, you, he, he is your father. Now your father will always correct you. Your father will rebuke you. Your father will build you. Your father will feed you. Both the spiritual social and physical babako wa kiroho atakwambia you are not growing you are not reading the word of god you are not praying hallelujah second chronicles 2020 are we there second chronicles 2020 mtu mmoja anaweza tu tuwekea hapo as uh, our media pia waki wakituwekea pale uh, by the way wewe about unanisikiza sasa uh, do you have do you have a spiritual father who is your spiritual father? What is the relationship between you and your spiritual father? Tuliogea na mtu mwingine akaniambia kwamba baba yake ni Benhin. Nikamuuliza unamjua? Apa, na, an, anakujua. Hanijui lakini atumanga email zangu huko. That is not a father. That is a mentor. Ati baba yako ni, ni Pastor Chris wa Yekerome. Wewe wacha hiyo kasuba. Kristo wake na mata hamja hata hakujui hata hajui kama unaishi na unasema ati ni baba yako ati baba yako ni Harrison Nganga na hata hakujui a father you should relate with the father heart to heart if you are not relating with that father heart to heart uyo si baba uyo si father by the anaweza kuwa father but father in law anaweza kuwa sijui kama nitaenda kutafuta kama kuna spiritual father in law but a father raises a son, builds a son, builds the character of a son, produces sons who are like him, who are better than him. The Bible says, uh, uh, the Bible says, uh, part B in Asama Hivi, uh, believe in the Lord your God, and you shall be established, and believe in his prophets and you will prosper believe also 
in his prophets and you will prosper. Believing in the prophets of God brings prosperity. Josh Jehoshaphat was a father in some times in Israel. And let me tell you this, the first father that we are seeing in the Bible, we are seeing the father that is called Abraham, who is the father of faith. From Abraham, we are seeing a father who is called Isaac. We are seeing the father who is called Jacob, his son. And that is why when God, wakati Musa anaeda na abiwa, nikiena nitawabia wewe ni nani? Go and tell them I'm God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Because our God is God of fathers. And God honors fathers. Mungu huheshimu mababa. The Bible says in the book of Amos chapter 3, 7, God will do nothing without revealing to his servants uh, the prophets. Mungu hawezifanya kitu bila kuliviru kwa watoto wake, kwa, 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 watuma, kwa watumishu wake. He is a spiritual, the spiritual authority helps you. In fact, you are supposed to give, uh, to tithe and to do all those other things to your father. Listen to this. It is always wise, whatever you are doing, to inform your spiritual father. Yes. Atakama nataku wakezea mtoto. Inform your father. Inform your father. I will explain tomorrow the structure of a spiritual father. Who is a good spiritual father? Venya nafaa kuwa, tabia zake, na hayo maboyote, abayo nafaa kuwa nayo, tutayaona, na tukuje kuyachambua one after the other. How long should you stay with a man? How long should you stay with a person? To understand he is your spiritual father. That is the question I will answer tomorrow. Unafaa kukaa na mtu mudagani. Dio ujue ya kwamba huyu ni baba yako wakiroho. Baba yako wakiroho. Anafaa kukufanyia nini? Ni mabogani anafaa kukufanyia. Wewe unafaa kumfanyia mabogani. Relationship yenu inafaa kuwa na mnagani. We will look at those dimensions kwa sababu kuna watu wengi sana sahi 80% or 100% ya wenye naongeresha sahi ule baba wako na yeye ni watano, ni wasita ile kanisa hako sahi ni ya saba, ni ya nane au umekua kwa makanisa mingi umekua mahali kui, umekua na kwa hii kanisa, umekua umeita huyu dadi ya meexpire Umeenda kwa mwingine umemuita dadi, umeenda kuingine umekuita dadi. Na kuna dadi, kuna dadi wengine wanakula mpaka wana, wanakula watoto wao. Na, na ni baba tu na na ni visi. Baba baba visi. Unajua kuna baba na ni visi wanakula watoto wao. Lakini ni vizuri kujua baba yako. Ni vizuri kujua ujijue vizuri ya kwamba huyo mtu kitu ya kwanza anaweza kuwa ile kanisa uliokokea Dio ulibatiziwa, dio ulilelewa, na dio uko mpaka sahi. That man, respect him. He is a spiritual authority over your life. Over your life. He is a spiritual authority over your life. Wacha ni kuambie. It is pride for any man in this world, for any Christian. It is pride for any Christian not to be a certain pastor. Kuna watu wanajiita mimi ni evangelist, ati nimetumwa ni kahubiri huku, umetumwa na nani? You must be sent by your father. Na watu wengi, kwa sababu uliyota jana kutanyesha kesho. By coincidence, paipu yenu ikahalipika mvua ikanyi, maji maji ikamuangiku kasema kumenyesha. Ama uka profesai kesho kutakua usiku, unajiita prophet apostol. Who sent you? Before you went to preach, who sent you? Before you go to Facebook Live, who sent you? Before you do all what you are doing, who sent you? Who sent you? Ama ni kiburi tu, we upangwigwi, wezi kuwa na baba wa kiroho, iyo ni mabaya odi covenant, wezi kuwa na baba, that is pride, you are full of pride by the way. 
In fact, you not go to heaven. Where was the other biguni? Eh, hey, we nasema inasema watu kama nyinyi hamuta ida biguni. In the book of uh, ukitusomea pale katika kitabu cha uh, uh, Matthew chapter 7. Matthew chapter 7 verses 2 from verses 20. Mimi nasema kwamba wengi watasema ya kwamba tulihubiri kwa jina lako. Tukaobea viwete na hizi wakatebea. Visii na wakasikia. Lakini Yesu akatawambia mimi si kumjua kwa sababu you will never follow the right procedure. You will never pro follow the right procedure. God is telling Joshua uh, let, 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 let us read it here. Not everyone who says to the Lord to me, Lord Lord, shall enter in the kingdom of heaven, but he who does the will of my father in heaven. You see the word father now? Uh, many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in your name? Cast out demons in your name? And done many wonders in your name. Next verse. And, they, and, and then I will declare to them, I never knew you. Depart from me, you who practice lawlessness. You who practice lawlessness. You people who, who does not follow the spiritual law. There is a, a spiritual order. There is a spiritual principle. God is telling Joshua in the book of Joshua chapter 1. Can we go there? God is telling Joshua in Joshua chapter 1. As I was with Moses, as I was with Moses, I will be with you. As I was with Moses, I will be with you. Kama venye nilikuwa na Musa, mimi nitakuwa na nyinyi. So, Joshua must have learned the pattern from Moses. Joshua must have learned the, must, the pattern. Lazima angekuwa meishi na 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 angekuwa meishi na na, na jamaa alikuwa anaitwa Moses. Dio ajua ya kwamba are you are we there? Joshua chapter 1. Can we read it from verses 1? After the death of Moses, the servant of the Lord, it came to pass that the Lord spoke to Joshua, the son of Nun. Moses assistant Moses assistant. He was the the son, the closest son. Saying, uh -huh. Moses, my servant, is dead. Now, therefore, arise, arise, go over the Jordan, you and all the children of Israel. Next verse. Every place that you, you are sorrow will step. Uh -huh. uh, next verse. From the wilderness, next verse. Uh, no man shall be able to stand before you all the days of your life. As I was with your father Moses, as I was with your father Moses, uh, so I will be with you. As I was with your father, as I was with Moses, I will be with you. I will be with you as I was with your father Moses. So you must have a father who God has been walking with. Who Father, who God has been using for your sake, on your behalf. Ule mutu wabaya mungu wa mekua akitumia kwa ajiri ya maisha yako. Hallelujah. Bwana sifiwe. So, I want you to understand that the fatherhood or spiritual fathers is a very important Lord. Uh, Paulo anasema kwa ba musikue wa watu wa abao wakona mababa wengi. Musikue na watu wa abao uh, about ni, ni watu wabawa wa Koriberias Aka mtu kama, mtu kama mfarme kuna, kuna mfarme furani wakati kulikuwa na vita Baba yake abaya ni alimusa, Baba yake di alimusaidia kupiga na vita Who was, He was a king but he was referring to the prophet of God As the father in the book of Second Kings chapter 2 Second Kings chapter 2 Chapter 2 uh, tukisoma kutoka pale mustari wa mustari wa nane hapo Hallelujah Let me see let, let me let me see are, are you catching something 
Are you catching something, Faith uh, Frida? Gloria, unashika kitu. Pastor Zach, I can see you. Pastor Regina, I can see you. Among others. Uh -huh. Now Elijah took his mantle. Well, that is verses 8. Uh -huh. And divided this uh, next verse. And so it was when they had crossed over that uh, that Elijah said to Elisha, Ask what may, may I do for you before I am taken away from you. Elisha said, Please let a double portion of your spirit be upon me. Let a double portion of your spirit be upon me. Elisha is asking a double portion from his spiritual father. The portion that you have of anointing, who gave it to you? Tumekuwa na watu ambao, tumekuwa na sasu wa rebellious. They want to serve just for six months. Ava na kuambia nitume maharifrani. Nitume nikahubiri. Nitume nikafanya hivi. Let me tell you this. Fatherhood is about relationship. Fatherhood is about relationship. You need to have a good relationship with that man. You need to have a good relationship with that woman. You need to have a good relationship with that woman of God. You need to have the heart-to-heart -heart relationship. You need to have that heart-to-heart -heart relationship. The book of Proverbs, my son, reason to my rebuke, reason to my advice, reason to my corrections. Watu wengi, wachugaji wanaogopa kuwa rebuke, kwa sababu wa kukuribu kutapotea, na yadu nalipanga kanisa. Sido mfululizo. Atiwezi ambiwa, we huwa biagwi, we huwa serawangwi. Mutu unaenda kwa kanisa, sade uko kwa church, yo sade igina huko kwa church, and you cannot say, that is pride. By the way, umejawa na pride. Iyo ni kibuli. Musha uliena church lini, ulipigia mchugaji wako lini. Nini ulienda kuwa baadi vice kwake? Ama kibuli tu imekubeba? Hallelujah. Do you have a father? Do you have a spiritual authority? Do you, are you a good son? Kesho ni taerezea what a son kire wana wanafaa kufanya nini? Or the roles of the sons. The roles of the sons and the roles of the fathers. Tutaangalia kazi ya wana na tutaangalia kazi ambayo ni ya ni ya fathers. Tujue baba anafaa kufanya mpaka wapi na son anafaa kufanya kutoka wapi. Hallelujah. Lakini ni kuambia ni kimarizia. God does not use fatherless sons. The Bible says, open with us in the book of Deuteronomy chapter 23 verses 2. Deuteronomy 23 verses 2. God does not use sons who does, who does not have fathers. Mungu hazitumia sons abo hawana mbababa. Deuteronomy chapter 23 verses 2 verses 2 What is there most of the times is the Moabite spirit Moabite spirit wale watoto ambao ni ni Moabites uh, can you put a message bible uh, uh -huh. Hallelujah or is the neighbor who is your spiritual father? No bastard is to enter the congregation of God. Come away, have a spiritual father. Bibi na kuita nani? Bastard. Can you put a NLT or NIV? No bastard is to enter in the congregation of the Lord, even to the tenth generation. If a person is Irregimate by birth, neither he or nor his descendants for ten generations may be uh, put up, provide, admitted to the uh, assembly of the Lord. 
watu mtu ambaye amezaliwa nje ya ndoa mtu ambaye amezaliwa outside marriage a person of eligible a person of eligible birth shall not enter in the congregation of the lord weka ya kiswahili wewe ni bastard ama wewe ni umezalika katika roho hmm Tuwana ya kiswahili Inasamaje SUV Naona naona mtu akiniangalia venye mtu ananiangalia hapo mwana wa haramu hey! mwana wa haramu asiigie katika makutano ya Bwana hata kizazi cha kumi asiigie aliye wake katika mkutano wa Bwana haleluya sikiza vizuri wewe kama mtoto mtu ambaye amezaliwa nje ya ndoa mtu ambaye hana baba hafai kuingia katika congregation of the lord until the 10th generation is a bad generation a fatherless generation wakati mmoja rutu alipewa ali, ali pombe na wachana wake wakazaa wakarara wa, wa na yeye mmoja akazaa mtoto ule wa kwanza wakati alilala na baba yake akazaa mtoto akamuita Moabu jina Moabu inamaanisha i don't need a father i don't need a father na wana wengi watu wengi ambao wako katika uh, uh, ufalme wa Mungu wengi wana, wana, ni, ni wa Moabu wanasema sasa baba wa kiroho ni nani si Mungu die baba lakini kwa nini Mungu hakuogoza wana Israeli kutoka Misri waliwapea Musa? Kwa nini Mungu anatuma mtu kama Elisha si yake si yake akakuja tu yeye mwenyewe? Haleluya. Bwana sifiwe. Hello. Next verse. Tuzama hii gine. Muamoni wara mumwambi ha ni watoto walizaliwa na hao na, na wasichana wawili ambao wa, wa, walilala wa, wa, na baba yao nyinyi mnalaka na mapasta wenu sikizeni hapa muamoni mu, wara mumwambi haleluya muamoni wara mumwambi wasiigie katika mkutano wa Bwana wara hata kizazi cha kumi mtu wao asiigie katika mkutano wa Bwana milele Hey asiigie katika mkutano wa Bwana milele Wewe unalaga wewe unalaga na mapasta hautaenda biguni Wewe unalaga na wachugaji Unataka kuagusha wachugaji Utafuta mchugaji ndio murare na yeye Hata utaingia biguni mko hapa mumoabi wewe habari uliyoboa na pasta ukaokoka na huku hukwenda kulelewa kwa na pasta yoyote unaendaka ile tu, tu, we, ni, kila sadu uko mgeni hapa kwa hicho kingine wewe ni momo wapi hautaingia in fact god does not know you god knows your father god does not know you god knows your father can you put in the book of first samuel chapter 17 verses 56 first uh, samuel chapter 17 Haleluya. Aha, sikia hapa. Uh, can you put put down an English Bible? Kwa sababu mimi si mzuri sana. Mimi si si mzuri sana na Kiswahili. Aha. Basi mfalme akasema, "Uliza wewe kijana huyu ni mwana wa nani?" Huyu ni Daudi ametoka vita. Aha. The king said, "Ask whose son the young man is." Put an KJV. Whose son is he? Whose son are you? 
Wewe ni mwana wa nani? Hey. And the king said, and quire thou who son the strip the stripling is and kejiwi. Nataka ikuingie vizuri, ikuingie mpaka kwa matubo. So the king said, and quire who son this young man is. I want to inquire to know whose son are you? Where ni mwana wa nani? Whose son are you? Who sent you? Zurura tu wewe kwa makanisa. Zurura tu kwa makanisa. Ukisema hii kanisa iko na mugu. Ndio nitasoma sad na sad yingine unaenda kwa kanisa ingine. You are bastard. You don't have a father. You are full of pride. You not see the kingdom of God. You are not a genuine son. A genuine son submits to one father, whether he is good or not. Kuna watu wengine wana wanaenda sasa kwa sababu wanaona standard zao zimeenda juu. Ah sasa nita nitaachana na na huyu baba wa wa Kawagwale, nitaenda sasa town. Nitavuta kiuna sasa dia kuwe baba yako kwa sababu dia kona gari kama mimi. My friend, go back to your father. Go back to your father. Ule baba alikulea. Ule baba alikuzaa. Ule baba alikufanya ali, ali ukue venye uko. Go back to that father. A son without a father is a bastard. There are blessings that you are missing because of having many pastors. Kila, kila mtu gaji ni pastor wako. Oi. Kila mtu ni dadi. Kila mtu ni dadi. Wewe. Wacha iyo. 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 Wacha iyo kasuba. Kila mtu si baba. Baba nani? Eh? Amekuzaa wapi? Wewe Simon Makonde, baba wa nani? Wewe umeingia umekuja chachi jana. Jana tu sadi. Na leo naniandikia message unaniita dadi. Dadi wa nani wewe? Tuache tuache hiyo. Tuache hiyo. Fatherhood is a process. One of the functions of the father is to circumcise you. Ha. One of the works of the father is to circumcise you. Nasema tena kazi moja ya baba ni kukutahirisha. That is why wakati Joshua alichukua wana wa Israeli aliwatahirisha. It is uh, to circumcise you. Bwana asifiwe. The one of the works of the father is to circumcise. Nikutahirisha. Kazi moja ya baba nikutahirisha. Baba kazi yake moja nikutahirisha. And uh, uh, Paulu anasema kwamba ni yeye aitahirisha Timothy. Uh, listen to this. Uh, First Timothy chapter one verses two, and and to Timothy, my own son, in the faith. My my own son in faith. Timothy, alikuwa son wa 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 Paulu in faith. Lakini watu wengi sana wako na roho ya rebellion, wengine wamekuwa gehazi. They are not true sons. They are not true sons. Na Paulo anasema kwamba ni mimi nilitahirisha Timotheo. What is circumcision? Circumcision is removal of excess flesh. Ulienda kwa hiyo kanisa ukiwa na umwili mwingi sana. Kazi yake ni kutoa, ni kutaka kikonde, anatoa hiyo kikonde anakusakamzais anakutahirisha je wewe ambao unanisikiza leo baba yako wa kiroho amekutahirisha ama bado uko na kikonde ile tabia unafanya ukiona mtu ambaye sade yako kanisa sade ingine hayuko ha, kanisa nige kode kila mugia ni hiyo ni hiyo for skin na msubua hiyo hiyo for skin Hallelujah. 
niyo 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 kikoda ina msubua ukiona mtu ambaye yako kwa kanisa na anakwaza kwazwa kila wakila sada na kwazwa na huyu hata kuja sada kwa sababu hakupewa nafasi ya ku, ku present verse fulani ni kikoda kila mugia ni ni for skin na msubua na mnahitaji baba atoe hiyo for skin mtu ambaye anatoka kwa kanisa kesho anaenda anarudi kwa dhabi ni kikoda kila mugia ni for skin inafaa kukatwa na baba anafaa kutahirishwa anafaa kuridishwa giri gao atahirishwe atolewe hiyo kikode mtu ambaye akienda akienda afanye kazi anakula taithi yote hata abakishi abakishi ile ya Mungu ni kikode ni hiyo ki, kinini kinamsubua kinafaa kukatwa mm. excess fresh mm -hmm. ikatwe haleluya Ni ni waka kwa na subiru na kikonde. Ziko mwangu mwangu sana Frida. Watu wengi wako na kikonde. Hata mapa wengine ni mapasa lakini anaenda kuhubiri ako na kikonde amekuwa nini watu wa ule. Unajua kuna 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 kabila, kabila fulani huku Kenya haiku inatahidi. Sasa kinakuwa kikonde kikubwa. Kuna na kikonde kikikuwa kikubwa unakuwa tu na na huo uhemwigi kazi ya kazi ya fadha ni, ku, ni kutoa hiyo kikonde hiyo 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 ni hiyo tabia ina unaacha wewe uja hiyo uja hiyo na wana mzee fulani ana ama kimtu fulani kiko na miaka kiko na miaka 35 ama kiko na miaka 40 na kina kinachukua mawe kinagoga mbwa kwa barabara ni kikonde ukiona mtu anakwaza kwa zanga watu kwa chachi ni for skin for skin ikatwe inakatwa na baba so lazima baba aone uchi yako dia akate na munishike vizuri si ati wende kutolea pastor wako nguo dio akate kikode i'm talking about the things of the spirit never take advantage of any man of god hata kama ni wiki aje ukiona pastor fulani anakutongoza ana kama we ni msichana run away you are killing your destiny You are killing your destiny. Wakati Miriam walifanya dhabi na na na, na mtu anaitwa Aaron. Miriam ndiye aliumia. Nyinyi wa dada, nyinyi Miriam ndiye mnaumia. Alipata mago. Wewe utaenda na mago hapo. Uzaage watoto ambao hawana masikio. Pigina tunakaa kama tuko na pembe. Are you getting me? So we need to know who is our father we need to honor our fathers we need to have the dimensions and understand the kind of the fathers that we have and we need to respect the spiritual authorities there are so many mentors i'll talk about mentors kuna watu wengi sana mimi nasikizanga watu wengi sana nasikizanga Joshua Seroman nasikizanga Chris nasikizanga Rome Nasikizanga Bonke, nasikizanga Nelson Wairimo Nelson, nasikizanga Makarioki, nasikizanga Harrison Bishop Harrison, nasikizanga nasikizanga wengi sana. But they are not my fathers. Niko na baba mmo mmoja. My question is this. Wewe. 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 Baba yako ni nani? Kama upagwigwi who is your spiritual father who is the who is the man who speaks to you who is the man who speaks when things are tough nani anaogereshaga maisha yako who is the person who gives cover to your family wakati mambo imeshindikana wakati mambo haiendelee vizuri unakibirianga nani ama unajipeleka kwa Mungu direct sisi unajua mimi kitaba nige atakile naweza aenda express kwa Mungu endelea kwenda express kwa Mungu lakini kuna wakati utaulizwa muokana huu umekuja na nani who brought you Mungu atakuuliza hivyo siku moja Let me tell this without it is pride not to have a father it is pride not to submit to a certain father It is pride not to submit to, the, to a certain father You need to have a spiritual father you need to have a man who directs you in authority a man that you associate with heart to heart no let him know you Nikimaliza Every father must be a son. Every father must be a son.
Baba ya baba wako wa kiroho ni nani? If your father is not a son somewhere, then he is not a father. He disqualifies. If your father is not a son somewhere, he is not a father. He must be a son somewhere here. Know your father. Know who, baba yake wa kiroho ni nani? Baba wa kiroho anafaa kuwa na nyumba ambayo kama kama ni mtu ameoa, anafaa kuwa unafaa kujua mke wake ama mume wake ni nani. Wanafaa kuwa wanafanya kazi pamoja. Si ati mke wake ako na huku na na uta ile roho ambayo iko katika familia hiyo ndio inapokea lakini hiyo ni ya kesho hope you have learned something today i start to be corrected but correct me through the word of god and tomorrow it will be better tutakuwa tukifanya just one hour kutoka saa 4:30 na nusu mpaka saa tano na nusu and we will continue with the, this week tufanye hiyo ya fatherhood tumalize tuone unafaa kuwa son wa aina gani ni son wa gani wako kwa biblia the bible says a son does the will of the father now we see what is the will of the father uh, kazi ya baba ni gani connection ya baba na mungu inafaa kuwa aje uh, relationship yako na baba inafaa kuwa aje the author and the father and the son how do, are, are they supposed to relate all those things will bring them here as we continue So God bless you so much unless there is a question uh, ni nitaijibu na mtabarikiwa sana 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 eh hey, for asking for asking inasubua sana aha uh, Joshua Selman hapo sana but shida shida ni <laughs> anko anko hata anko atakufajia mambo utashangaa <laughs> So God bless you so much. I want us to pray. Uh, thank you for taking time to watch us. Na wenye watatu watch baadaye. May God bless you. May God help you to discern and to understand who is your father. It is the sons who discover their father. Wazazi hawaendagi wakiita kila mtu mtoto wangu, mtoto wangu, mtoto wangu. Kila mtu si mtoto wake. It is sons who discover this man is the, is my father. You discover your father. I'll talk about that. I'll finish. I'll, I'll talk about responsibilities of the father tomorrow, and the responsibilities of a son in the kingdom. Hallelujah. On the on the other day, on Wednesday, I'll talk about the blessings of God the Father, the blessings of biological father, and the blessings of the spiritual father, because all the three have different blessings. Hakuna mtu anabariki, hakuna mmoja anabariki kama mwingine. Wote wako na nafasi yao. Kuna mambo ambayo Mungu hawezi kukufanyia inafanywa na baba yako mzazi. Kuna mambo baba yako wa mzazi hawezi hawezi fanya inafanywa na baba yako wa kiroho. All those things. We we'll talk about that. So God bless you so much. Thank you for taking your time when watching us. We bless the name of the Lord. I want to pray with you. If you have an issue we can pray with if you have a something that is kuna kitu kinakusumbua niambie tuombe na mtabarikiwa zaidi na zaidi if possible maybe i will be inviting people here tunakaa chini hapa tuna discuss mambo ya kiroho we are trusting god for a good phone uh, simu mzuri ya, ku, ya kuchukua live uh, later on we will trust we are trusting god for a good video video camera ambayo itafanya vizuri na tutabarikiwa sana. I want to pray for you. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you, we bless you. We give you glory, we give you honor. Thank you for your mercies, thank you for your goodness. Thank you for the time that we have been here we together with these people, Father. Lord, may you bless them. May you give them direction. Father, if there is person who is sick, I speak divine healing in the name of Jesus. If there is a person who is trusting you in the area of finances, may there be breakthrough in the name of Jesus Christ. Baba natangaza huyu ambaye hana pesa ya nyumba ukampe. Huyu Jehova God anatumaini anakutumainia akiwa nje ya nchi anashindwa kutaenda aje ni biashara gani ataweka ni kazi gani ataweka. Baba ukamfungue jia, ukamfungue macho 
katika jina la Yesu wale wote ambao watanisikiza na wale watafuatilia hii ujube baba ikawe usaidizi katika maisha yao jehova wale ambao wamekuwa wana baba wetu ukawapema baba wazuri ukawasaidie hata kutii mpaka siku ambao utawatuma tunakushukuru na tunakuinua katika jina la Yesu Kristo tumeomba na tumeamini sisi wote tuseme amen tuseme amen so god bless you so much um, ukiroga utisinijue usiniona ukiroga utu ndio ni uh, nijue um, hmm. uh, sema tu amen kama sema kama umebarikiwa na hiyo ujube ndio tu uh, Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Very, very, thank you very much. Nimeulizwa maswali mengi hapa kwa ile ni nyingine lakini nitajibu. Many spiritual fathers hiyo iongelewe kabisa. Aha. Nafaa kutafuta mambo ya roho. Nadimie. Hiyo taogea kuhusu power of speaking in tongues. Ah, uh, nyota zinapotea hizo tutatafuta kwenye zilipotelea. I still can't be stolen. Hiyo tutaongea. Ah. Uh, eh kwani 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 nyimbo ibiwa nyota mingi sana aje. Uh, about the the blood sprinkling and covering. Uh, that one our answer nitakuja kuyajibu. Uh, among other things nitakuja ku nitakuja kuya, kuyasema as we continue. So God bless you so much. Uh, ukuwe na usiku mwanana na roho wa Mungu akuongoze katika kila jambo na wapenda nyote. Tomorrow same time same hour for deeper revelations and for deeper food of thought God bless you Shalom